What's going on, gentlemen? Hope you're ready for today's video because it's one that a lot of you have been asking me about for a long time. I get comments on a pretty regular basis about coloring my hair and why I don't do it. I even get comments from random people telling me that I should color my hair because I look old. I mean, thank you for the feedback I never asked you for. But listen, I do understand the desire to keep your gray hair at bay for as long as possible, especially if you're on like a youthful career path. So today, one of my buddies is coming over and he's gonna color his hair on camera so you can all see his results. And I also wanna say that just because I don't wanna color my hair, that doesn't mean that you don't wanna color yours either, right? Because a lot of you do. And I realize this is kind of a big topic and also somewhat polarizing because some guys are super into it and some guys just aren't. So because of that, there's really no reason why I shouldn't address this topic and talk about it here because there's probably a lot more guys out there who are covering their grays than aren't. Okay, but first, really quick, I want to address a few of the most common reasons why men color their hair, or at least why men feel like they should color their hair. First, you just wanna look your best. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking care of yourself and wanting to look your best and put your best foot forward in any situation. I totally get that. And if you feel that your gray hair is preventing you from looking your best, then absolutely, if that's the best solution for you, then by all means, go for it. Another reason is that you simply don't like the gray look. I get that. Some guys just have no desire to go gray because they just don't like it. I mean, if my hair turned pink, I wouldn't like that either, and I would absolutely try to color it a different color if I could. You like what you like, and if you don't like having gray hair, that's a great reason to color it in a way that makes you feel most comfortable. For me, I started going gray in high school, and by the time I was in my 30s, I had a full head of gray hair. And I guess I kind of got used to it and just sort of let it do its thing. And now it's kind of a signature look, so to speak, so I just don't mind it at all. Now, another reason might be that your gray is coming in patchy or super uneven. I've seen some guys with gray patches in these random places on the sides of their head, so if yours is coming in uneven, that's another good reason why you might want to add some color. Now, normally it's the sides that start first, then it sort of creeps up and takes over your entire head. And if you have darker hair color like I do, that salt and pepper look is very noticeable. Some people really like that intermediate stage of salt and pepper, but other people really seem to have a problem with it. So if you're starting to see a little bit of gray coming in kind of here and there, and you don't like it, that is a great time to add a little bit of color because it's gonna be very easy to blend that and cover that up. Now, another reason is competition and relevancy in your chosen career path. So my buddy Mike is gonna come on in just a minute and he's gonna talk about some of the reasons why he colors his hair. But for example, if you work in a field that appeals to a youthful demographic or if the office environment that you work in is very young and most of the people that work there are a lot younger than you are, I can totally appreciate the desire to want to remain relevant and be seen as current and not outdated. And I'm so excited today to not only have Mike here, but also that today's video is sponsored by L'Oreal Paris Men's One Twist Hair Color. This is the first men's hair color of its kind, and this offers natural, undetectable gray coverage thanks to its powerful ammonia-free gel formula. The all-in-one bottle's twist mechanism means that there's no mixing of different formulas to be able to develop the color. You just simply twist the bottle to combine the two colors inside, and then shake it up a little bit, you crack the top like a beer and then just apply it to your hair with a brush nozzle. In just five minutes, all your grays are blended away. L'Oreal's One Twist Hair Color results in coverage that makes grays invisible for up to six weeks. And unlike traditional women's hair colors, there's no root regrowth because with One Twist Hair Color, the color fades naturally over time with each wash. They also have this augmented reality color matching tool where you just answer a couple questions and your perfect color is generated from the seven different color options that they have. So if you're interested in grabbing a bottle for yourself, use the special link that I'll leave you right down below in the description and get started today. And with that, let's bring Mike in for a few words, then we'll get right into showing his hair coloring process. All right, gang, so we have my buddy Mike here. Welcome, Mike, thank you for coming and doing this for us. Oh, I you're welcome, appreciate. you're welcome. <laughs> so Mike, tell the audience a little bit about you and uh, who you are and what you do. So my name's Mike, I'm a wedding DJ slash MC. Uh, I've been doing it for, I just celebrated my 20th anniversary in the business. You currently do color your hair. We Absolutely. had this conversation. Yes. 
So tell us why you color your hair. Like what, what are the reasons behind you wanting to color your hair? I started going gray in my, my mid to late thirties, which is an awful young time for me. And I'm in a business where young, hip, energetic is the primary focus. And so I'm meeting with couples that are in their mid to, to, to late twenties and I don't want it to seem like I don't have the energy needed to perform at their wedding. Right. It's, it's interesting. I, we've had this conversation before about like, you know, getting a little bit older in the wedding industry when your clients are still super young, but then at what point do you become sort of irrelevant? So that's sort of right. your general concern. Right. No one, no one wants grandpa showing up at their <laughs> wedding. So Mike, you currently color your hair yourself at home with a variety of different products that we talked about a few minutes ago. What do you, what do you look for in a home hair color product? Right off the bat, it's got to be easy to use. I don't mm -hmm. want to be mixing different things and, and getting the counter uh, space a mess when my wife yells at me. Uh, but it also <laughs> needs to be quick. I don't have 30 minutes to spend on my hair. It's got to be something that's real easy to use and doesn't take a lot of time. Right. Totally understand that. So if you're ready, let's head back and get this done. Let's do it. All right, Mike, this is the L'Oreal One Twist Hair Color. It's very simple to use. There's three steps. So we have a color and a developer in the same bottle. You're gonna twist it to mix the two, then you're gonna shake it up, and we're gonna pull the black tab out and start applying it to your hair. All right, here we go. The mic has never done this before. There you go. Okay, so Mike's already shook it up, and we're gonna pop the little black tab out just like popping a beer top. Go ahead. Look at that. All right, Mike's got the provided gloves on, and I'm gonna let him go ahead and do his thing. You've got a nice gray Drip right down the middle of your head, which is cool. We're gonna take care of that. Look at this. I can definitely tell with this applicator that I have pretty good control over it. Yeah, good. Like there's not a lot going. You're not making a mess. It's right, I'm not making a mess. It's not going over the countertops. It's not dripping I'm, I'm, I'm able to get the back part of my head. Okay, so Mike has now got pretty much all of the hair taken care of. How has it been to use so far? Super easy to use, and, and look at the countertop. There's no little, little uh, marks all over the, the counter that my wife would yell at me for. <laughs> Super easy. All right, so now we wait five minutes and uh, we'll have you uh, rinse your hair out and we'll come back for the after. Okay, so Mike is done with the hair color and he's rinsed it all out and styled it back himself. So what's what do you think? What are your initial reactions? Super easy to use. Cool. Super e easy to use. The applicator was easy to get into the spots in the, the back of the head, you know, because you, you can't see that. So it was yeah. real easy to get good coverage all around. And we, we noticed it wasn't like dripping everywhere, right, running no, down the back no, of your no, neck, no drips. The counter's clean. Uh, there's none on my hands, there's none in any parts where it shouldn't be. Yeah, cool. So what do you think of the color? I, I like it. It, it it's, it's very natural. It, it blends in with my natural color uh, very well. Okay, so Mike, you're all done. And we were talking just a minute ago about how cool it looks and like how like you really like it. Yeah, very natural. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look like I, I, I dyed it, which is, is very important. Yeah. Good, easy coverage, easy to use, especially to get the back parts. Yeah, we were talking about it wasn't like, when he was doing it, we were like, is it gonna drip down the back of his neck? Right. Because you, know, you really can't see what you're doing on the back of your head and he didn't have a mirror behind him. It was just, you'd sort of just you know, invert the bottle, squeeze it, and it just sort of comes out in a nice, kind of a thick gel consistency, which made it super simple. And none of, none of my shoulders. Like, we, I didn't I wear a towel around my, around my <laughs> exactly. shoulders. Exactly. Anyway, Mike, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. You're welcome, John. All right. All right, gentlemen, I hope you found this one interesting because I really enjoyed making this video for you. And if you made it all the way to the end, please tap that like button to let me know. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.